Okay, before I start today's Launchbox video, if you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss out on upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, Just Jamie. That just means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide and it also helps out my channel too. So instead of releasing a full setup guide today, which I actually did around a month and a half ago for a Launchbox, I thought I'd just give my subscribers in Passers by just a quick little note that we're actually on 13.13 .13 now of launch. Launchbox. I was literally just booting up Launchbox just a minute ago and what Launchbox does when it gets an update in this case is it will just say to you that it's got a new update. So what can you expect in this update today? So we got several different improvements like you normally get in Launchbox and we can also see that Launchbox for Android is back. So we got lots of different changes here. And what I did, like I said, around a month and a half ago was I did a definitive or rather ultimate setup guide for Launchbox. Like I say, I'm a Launchbox big box user myself and I highly recommend it. It's a premium front end and it probably is one of the best out there, especially in terms of customization. So we can actually see the entire log of changes just here. And as we can see, this one released May the 13th, 2024. So we got new features added, such as automatically downloading and installing Dolphin emulator uh, if you're choosing to import your GameCube or Wii games. We also got PCSX2, which can now be automatically downloaded and installed directly within Launchbox. And we got so many more features just here and lots of fixes, such as big box memory leaks have been addressed, allowing it to run smoother. So for those of you out there who uses big box, you might find that it's pretty sluggish occasionally so it looks like the launchbox team are actually working on that to make it a more smoother experience so what i'm going to do is leave the link in my description and if you want to set up launchbox yourself i'm also going to leave that in my description for the previous version of launchbox which is 13.12 but you can follow that setup guide which will pretty much work for the latest version 13.13 .13. and that's it for the launchbox update video today so if you do use launchbox big box it's highly recommended you check this one out and don't forget to save your data before updating it. Uh, there's been reports with various different front end systems in the past where people was losing their games, that type of thing. So if you do update it, just take precaution and make sure that you do back up your data and everything else that you need. Anyways, if you liked today's video, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss out on upcoming retro emulation content. Also join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.